Welcome to beautiful Barbados. We are here today with a 20-minute yoga workout that is focused on cultivating strength in your lower body and building a stable, powerful core. Whether you're looking to tone your legs, enhance your balance, or simply feel more grounded, this yoga workout is designed to deliver inner and outer results, leaving you feeling strong, energized, and ready to take on the world. So roll out your mat, take a deep breath, and let's dive into this invigorating journey towards a stronger, more balanced you. Today's video is brought to you by Sage. I'm really excited to share something that has truly transformed my daily routine, and that is Sage's Extra Strength Roll-On. While being constantly on the go, I've recently begun to feel the sense of stress and tension on my body and muscles. While my yoga practice does contribute to easing the strain, sometimes we just need a little bit of extra help. Now this little powerhouse is a game changer when it comes to instant relief. If you're dealing with muscle aches, joint pain, or just the aftermath of a challenging yoga class, this is your go-to remedy. I apply it three to four times a day to those sore and tense areas, like my shoulders and my lower back, and it makes wonders. The combination of peppermint and clove and the extra strength roll-on creates a cooling and numbing effect. The extra strength roll-on contains sweet birch for warming comfort, a peppermint for a cool relieving sensation, and clove for that perfect numbing touch. And here's the cherry on top. Sage is dedicated to being 100% natural, plant-based, and eco-conscious. If you feel like you need something like that in your life as well, feel free to visit the link in the description of this video and use our code BOHOBEAUTIFUL to get 15% off site-wide plus free shipping on any Sage products. This offer is valid for new and existing customers, plus it's available in the US and Canada. Now with that said, let's get back to our practice, grab your mat, and let's begin. Hello, wonderful friends. Thank you so much for joining me here today for this yoga workout. Let's get started by coming up to the top of our mat. We're going to start in mountain pose today. So go ahead and take two steps forward, ground your feet into the floor, ground your toes into the floor, open the palms of your hands. Take a deep breath in, bring yourself into your body, into this moment, onto your mat. On your next inhale, reach both arms up to the sky and just open up through that heart. And as you exhale, release all the way forward, forward fold. Bend your knees here. And then as you extend your knees, just come up to halfway. We're going to do this a few times. So you're going to bend and then extend your elbows and knees. Good. Bend your knees. Slowly roll up. Arms up. Open through that heart, exhale back to forward fold, and once again, inhale, come up halfway, exhale, bend your knees, halfway up, exhale, release, halfway up, extend your knees and elbows, exhale, forward fold, bend both knees, roll up, stand up, reach both arms up to the sky, open through that heart, exhale, forward fold. Inhale halfway again. And then as you exhale, this time we're going to take two steps all the way back into our high plank position. Pull the navel into the spine, shoulders above your wrists, and then lower down, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, press into the hands, open through the chest, look up. Exhale, push into the hands and release into downward facing dog. Good, allow your heart center to melt down, round forward into plank, and then back into downward dog. We're gonna do this a few times, targeting the entire body here, not just the core, but also engaging the shoulders, the upper back, downward dog. Come through into plank, hold, downward facing dog. And once again, come forward into plank, hold, on your next exhale, you're gonna bring your knee to your chest, step back into plank, other side, knee to chest, and plank. So alternating your legs, almost like a very slow mountain climber. Bring it in and back, in and back. Try to get that knee as high as you can, feeling the engagement in your core. When you step back into plank, pull the belly button right back into that spine. 
and then take your chaturanga upward facing dog and exhale push back downward facing dog inhale on your next exhale you're gonna come down into a bear like position just tap the knees to the ground and then extend back into downward dog we're gonna do this a few times and then we're going to end in a bear hold good bring it down tap and downward dog and once again bring it down downward facing dog now bring it down and just hover for me keep those knees almost touching the ground nice straight back hips above your knees deep breath in keep holding keep holding and drop them to the mat release the toes cat cow arch the back exhale round the spine inhale arch the back warming up the spinal cord exhale round the spine inhale look up exhale tuck that chin to the chest inhale look up exhale chin to chest and then finding a neutral position extending your right leg out make sure the hips are square pull the belly button into the spine you can stay here or for an added challenge go ahead and see if you can hold on to that right elbow with your left hand hold here and try not to move and then we're going to take a crunch you're going to bring your knee to chest extend it out and then take that same knee now to the outside elbow and extend it out so we're working through the lower abs and the obliques at the same time so not only the core is being engaged but also the lower body as well good keep going in extend and to the side extend crunch it in push it back to the side push it back so every time you land in that same exact position with the leg extended behind you bring it in extend to the side extend bring it in extend to the side if this is a little tricky on the balance feel free to keep both hands on the mat now let's hold it here release the hand if you're holding on to the elbow holding this bird dog and then both hands planted on the mat let's take our pilates push-ups bring your chin down and press up for one using your triceps two elbows pointed to the back of your mat three and four and five six seven eight hold it hold it don't drop the leg let's work a little deeper into the glutes bend your knee flex your foot lower the knee and kick it up for one knees together and then kick for two so now we're using the back of your leg really feeling this in your glute and also in that insertion point between the hamstring and the glute muscle kick it up and lower up and lower just be very mindful that you don't arch your lower back so keep your core engaged now point your foot bring the knee to the outer elbow and then back to center to the side and then back to that back point and back to the side and back to the side you're going to feel this a little bit more on the side glute as well good keep going side and back side and back nice crunch don't lose the height of the knee if you can extend the back leg now hold tuck your back toes and then we lift into that bear hold with the back leg extended and then you extend all the way into three-legged dog hold it here for a breath in and then exhale you're gonna tuck that knee to your left elbow right elbow and then extend back three-legged dog so come through into plank left right three-legged dog for two see if you can actually make physical contact with the elbow and knee if you can't don't worry just do your best to try and get that knee as high up on your chest as possible bring it in one two and extend one two and extend one two and reach beautiful one two and reach bring knee to chest step your right foot to the front of your mat well done my friends 
find your center and then reach both arms up to the sky into your high lunge. Find your breath and then take the arms behind your back, interlace the fingers, open, extend through the body and then dive the chest down to the front knee. Open up, inhale, exhale down for two. Open and three, open and four, open, good, chest down, bring it back up, hold it here, and then shift your weight to that front foot, and release into warrior three. See if you can continue to keep your arms behind your back, fingers interlaced, shoulders are square, hips are square. Great, and then feet together, bring your body up. Very nice, let's extend and just arch your back for a moment, release the arms, and exhale, come back forward into your forward fold. Inhale halfway, exhale, forward fold, stand back up to standing, reach up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale halfway, exhale, forward fold. Now this time step both feet back, plank position, take your flow, chaturanga, arch and open into upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. Our next exercise after this is going to be combining first our high plank into downward dog and then both knee tap to the mat, downward dog. So let's take both of them together, plank, downward dog, knees to mat, and then downward dog. Work with the breath, plank, downward dog, exhale. Tap the knees, exhale, downward dog, plank, and dog, knee tap, and downward dog. Plank, so feel that engagement in the upper body at the same time as we're working through the core. And now let's hover our bear stance, keep those knees hovering above the floor, hold, 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 pull the navel into the spine, and then drop it down. All right, my friends, we got our other side to go. Let's extend your left leg now, navel to the spine, find that center, alignment and then your right hand can hold on to the left elbow or both hands can stay on the mat from here let's crunch it in extend and then that knee comes to the side towards that elbow and back out very nice crunch extend to the side extend crunch extend to the side extend so once again i remind you Really focus on keeping that height of the leg the entire time. So when you extend the leg back, make sure it is aligned with the rest of your body. Bring it in, extend, wrench to the side, extend, bring it in, extend, side. Very good, in, out, side, extend, hold it here. Reach your arm now forward to the front of your mat bird dog for a moment and then hands on the floor let's take our push-ups for one keep those elbows pointed to the back two three back leg stays extended and lifted four and five feel that engagement good almost there all right my friends flex your foot bend that back knee knees connect and then you lift that knee up one donkey kicks two Three, just be very mindful that you don't just arch your lower back, keep your core engaged. You don't need to kick the leg too high, just high enough that you feel that burn and that engagement in the muscle, but always with control. Point your toes. Now let's bring it to the side and bring it back around. Now do not lose the height here. This is where all the work happens. Maintaining the height of the knee and just moving the direction to the side and then back engaging different micro muscles in your glute good side and back side and back side and back 
and back almost there feel the burn extend your leg tuck your back toes hold and hover that right knee hover 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 and extend into three-legged dog all right my friends you know what's coming bend that knee bring it to your chest and then touch your right elbow left elbow three-legged dog back into plank elbow elbow and three-legged dog again one two and extend shoulders staying square elbow elbow three-legged dog elbow elbow three-legged dog very nice elbow elbow almost there my friends and again knee to elbow elbow extend it back and then elbow elbow extend it back all right this time knee to chest step your left foot forward take a second to reground yourself and then lift both arms up to the sky high lunge interlace the fingers behind you extend through the elbows open through that heart center inhale exhale bring your chest down arms up inhale open exhale bring that chest down focusing on finding that strength in the lower body to maintain the lower body position of your high lunge good open and down open beautiful from here come forward and up and transition into your warrior three holding this warrior three hips are square deep breath in exhale out slowly bring the feet together open up through that heart center open open release the hands and come all the way back down into forward fold halfway lift exhale step back into plank position take your flow chaturanga upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog good just take a deep breath in and then on your exhale we're going to come into our malasana so lift the heels hop forward and land with your feet open toes pointed away from you so yoga squat connecting the palms of your hands together and then use your elbows to push into the knees to really open up the hips from here we're going to extend now reach up and exhale drop back down malasana squats very deep squat work here extending your knees and then landing right into that malasana extend and land extend both knees and reach and then come back into that malasana reach up deep yogic squat reach up and yogic squat reach up and land and once again good really deep work here in the glutes in your quads just stay with me all right once you finish this one let's hold our malasana one more time Feel that opening sensation in the hips. Try to keep your tailbone pointed downward towards the mat. Use your elbows, push those knees away. Try to keep your heels on the ground as well. And then from here, hands come down. Heel toe your feet until the feet come together. Coming back into that forward fold once again. And then slowly roll up to standing deep breath in both arms reach up exhale forward fold inhale halfway exhale step back into your downward facing dog let's take one flow here chaturanga upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog great and then one more deep breath in long exhale out just let it all go bring yourself down over to your knees and coming down into child's pose just to close off this practice forehead down on the floor 
calming the body, the nervous system, the heart rate. Inhale. And let it go. Inhale once again. And exhale, let it go. Once you're ready, we will slowly begin to roll up to our seated position on our knees. Taking another deep breath in, reaching both of your arms up to the sky. And then exhale, lowering the hands to your heart center. And taking this opportunity to simply thank yourself for your strength and your time on the mat today. Thank you so much for joining me here in beautiful Barbados. Namaste. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Before you go, don't forget to click that link in the description of this video and get your Sage's Extra Strength Roll On for all your muscle soreness and tension relief. Use the code Boho Beautiful to get 15% off site wide plus free shipping on any Sage products. Thank you again, and we will see you soon.